Okay, we can do the first switch and do the, the daunting. And when we get to the second, we get to the switch back. Pause. So you just need to go over there, and you need to come here, and you just need to come in. This is such an amazing piece of theater. It is, of course, comes from the movie. Lots of people have seen the movie, but it takes it so much further. So basically what we have is a love story. Uh, a very young Will Shakespeare has writer's block and he can't come up with anything. And his friend Christopher Marlowe is sort of feeding him stuff to write about. And he's working on a play um, at this point and he just can't write. And then he finds his muse and falls in love. It so happens this girl has in her own heart that she wants to be on the stage. And of course, being Elizabethan times, women aren't allowed. And she inspires him to write what is probably his most famous play, Romeo and Juliet. Travel on one. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, three, three boom. Uh, Chris Polson has created a wonderful set. We're at the Globe Theater. Scenes flow and move in between. Kay Ellison on costumes has started working on them last summer, so it will be visually, visually gorgeous. And you go from a palace to a tavern to rowing on a boat uh, back to the tavern and then into an actual theater space and then back to the palace and back into the theater space. The challenge is to make them look Elizabethan, to make them look their character. Some are novice actors and some are very wealthy people and to make them look the time period and to have some ease of um, getting in and out of costumes. I am very, very, very excited about the show. It opens November 2nd and runs 2, 3, 4, that's 7.30, 7.30 and 2 o'clock on Sunday, and the following week, the 9th, 10th, and 11th.